Snow by Julia Alvarez. Our first year in New York, we rented a small apartment with a Catholic school nearby, taught by the Sisters of Charity, hefty women in long black gowns and bonnets that made them look peculiar like dolls in mourning. I liked them a lot, especially my grandmotherly fourth grade teacher, Sister Zoe. I had a lovely name, she said, and she had me teach the whole class how to pronounce it. Yolanda. As the only immigrant in my class, I was put in a special seat in the first row by the window, apart from the other children, so that Sister Zoe could tutor me without disturbing them. Slowly, she enunciated the new words I was to repeat. Laundromat, cornflakes, subway, snow. Soon, I picked up enough English to understand Holocaust was in the air. Sister Zoe explained to a wide-eyed classroom what was happening in Cuba. Russian missiles were being assembled, trained supposedly on New York City. President Kennedy, looking worried too, was on the television at home, explaining we might have to go to war against the communists. At school, we had air raid drills. An ominous bell would go off and we'd file into the hall, fall onto the floor, cover our heads with our coats, and imagine our hair falling out, the bones in our arms going soft. At home, Mommy and my sisters and I said a rosary for world peace. I heard new vocabulary, nuclear bomb, radioactive fallout, bomb shelter. Sister Zoe explained how it would happen. She drew a picture of a mushroom on the blackboard and dotted a flurry of chalk marks for the dusty fallout that would kill us all. The months grew cold, November, December. It was dark when I got up in the morning, frosty when I followed my breath to school. One morning, as I sat at my desk daydreaming out the window, I saw dots in the air like the one Sister Zoe had drawn, random at first, then lots and lots. I shrieked, Bomb! Bomb! Sister Zoe jerked around, her full black skirt ballooning as she hurried to my side. A few girls began to cry. But then Sister Zoe's shocked look faded. Why, Yolanda, dear, that's snow, she laughed. Snow! Snow, I repeated. I looked out the window warily. All my life I had heard about the white crystals that fell out of American skies in the winter. From my desk, I watched the fine powder dust the sidewalk and parked cars below. Each flake was different, Sister Zoe had said, like a person, irreplaceable and beautiful.